Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are back here in Construction Simulator. And as you can tell from my accounts there on the screen in front of you, I have, well, I guess made a couple changes and I've been doing some grinding. So let's get into it and see what we're gonna do for today. Ooh. What was I doing last time I was driving? <laughs> Not sure why I was just kind of stopped there on the curb. Ooh. Actually, I do know what I was doing. I was repaving this road. Um, yeah, we've uh, made some additions to our fleet. Uh, we actually have two locations now. So if you recall, the first one is all the way up here. That's our headquarters. The second one is right here. But we have the entire map, from what I can tell, unlocked. We can do just about any kind of job we can think of. I'm kind of along the same thought process as Paul. Uh, we both tend to like to do the paving jobs. Um, some of these other jobs can take quite a bit of time. We might do a single family family house. I'm not sure yet. Ooh, sports facility, residential area. Maybe we'll do that. Um, but while we're here, let's take a look at the fleet that we currently have. So I do have a pickup truck in the coupe, coupe that I'm currently driving. Um, we do own the fast erecting crane. Asphalt compactor, dozer, hydraulic ex excavator, a couple trailers, a couple trucks to, to uh, move those trailers, dump truck, backhoe loader, concrete mixer, flatbed crane. So we do have quite a few vehicles so far in the mix. Looks like I have a couple that I need to do a little bit of uh, maintenance on. But instead, the one... Of the things that I have unlocked, actually, one of the campaigns is, well, actually, I've unlocked the ability to do all of these campaigns. I started doing the urban space one, which the first one has was uh, basically build, I don't know if it was an addition to the city college or if it was the city college itself, but we ended up building that and then going over to Chinatown. And building them a new city square, so to speak. Basically what you see in the picture there. Uh, the next one is to, looks like, build a, shop, a shopping mall? Shopping strip? Um, I'm not quite sure, unless it's just kind of redoing the center part of it. Uh, to get shops and whatnot back in. But I don't know if I'm going to do these on camera or not. Instead, we're going to go over here to contracts. And I like the concept of doing the sports facility residential area. I have no clue what it's going to entail. There are three construction stages, as you see there. But the estimated earnings are $360,000. Well, a little over. <laughs> so, well, credits anyway. So what we need to do... Looks like there's going to be some boulders that we're going to have to remove. Um... <clears throat> Looks like there's going to be a few other things that we're going to have to remove and transport to the gravel plant. Uh, looks like a few things to deliver. And I'm packing said things. Ooh. I'm going to be able to rent a ripper. Uh, you need to get sand. Compact sand. Like dealing with a few pillars and then getting approval so yeah we have a few things to do um we got our shopping list right there pvc pipes concrete elements metal elements and concrete bags and right there in the middle of the residential area Oop, i don't think i accepted that there we go And one thing you can do 
is on the left hand side. Well, I've already accepted this, but you can actually go in and you can change the job scope, which I think is just a matter of how much you actually need to do to, for it to hit the completion. So, ooh, to unlock this contract slot, you have to unlock it. Unlock an additional form in, in your upgrade levels. Um, oh, these. I forgot about these. Yeah, we'll purchase that. I know they got the funds. Ah, so we need to complete a campaign, which is what I mentioned that I had worked on between... Um, Chinatown and the university. And, uh, because I kind of fast travel everywhere, um, I tend not to refuel very much, and I don't tend to repair. I need to stop doing that, and I need to start doing the whole driving to and from everywhere. Okay, so we need to head back to our shop. Stop signs are optional. I had that turned off as far as as far as getting fined for it. Now if you have the fines and such on, you can get caught for speeding. So there is that. Alright, so let's get this pulled out. Get our excavator put on the back. Yeah, I know I said I wasn't a big fan of this, but for some of the bigger pieces of equipment, we kind of need it. We got our safety equipment on. Eye protection, ear protection, and head protection. We got the straps undone. Climb on up here. Raise that up. Raise it up high enough so we're not gonna hit anything. Find where these boulders are that we apparently need to move. Oh, I think I see where they're at. This vehicle is not exactly the greatest. Oh, and I think I see where they want us to put them. It's a little finicky because if you kind of get the buttons in the right spot, it just kind of all of a sudden it takes off on you. And I don't know why. Alright, so... I wonder if we can use our bucket here to get those picked up. I mean, 
we have a spot where we could technically do it. I don't think it's gonna let us. Let's see if we can just dig them out. I don't like that angle. Actually, I'm not going to be using this guy to remove the dirt. I need a front loader. Because this guy's actually for digging into said dirt, not for doing the, the removal of soil. So I'm going to get this guy out of the way, get the necessary equipment I need over here. I'll catch up with you guys when I get everything I need. Alright, so we got our just got our uh, dump truck here. Got our wheel loader. Uh, already got a load on said wheel loader. Ready to load into the dump truck. And for removing this spoil, looks like we're already at 47%. I did buy this wheel loader, the dump truck I already had. It's like another big chunk like we just took for the first one. By the way, take a look at this skybox. This is just amazing for the skybox at night. And the lighting in this game, woo -wee. I just can't get enough of it, guys. I'm sorry. into that but it's all good don't know what that little glitch was that we just saw what we 
could do much longer and that's already and I'll be back full. We're at 78 percent that's what you guys are kind of seeing up there in the top left hand corner. The sports facility itself we're only sitting at 9 percent though. So we do still have quite a way, bit of ways to go. We may have some time lapse going on in through parts of this. Nice thing is if you don't have it completely maxed out, you can have things like that happen. Where it'll just kind of autocomplete once you hit a certain percentage. I do like that, it means you don't have to be perfect to do the job, which clearly I'm rarely perfect when it comes to this game. <laughs> Big surprise there. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so. I'm gonna get this out of here. I think I need to get my one flatbed to get some materials from the shop. Got quite a bit of uh, equipment to get out of here at some point. But, that's a loveliness when it comes to this is if I want, I can just, uh... Oh, I was hearing some music of some sort. Um... I can just kind of get into a truck, and, uh... Ooh, that was you're cutting that close. And if I can get it out... Um... Uh, Quick travel. I'm gonna have to go dump this. I believe it said at the quarry. I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. So that's what we're gonna do. Can we get up that? Yep. So I'm going to park right here in between both of these. Uh, we're going to change the mode, which is going to get the outriggers out and get it ready for us to use the crane. how well I've gotten with this. Eh, not too shabby. Swim back in and around. Get another one. That's kind of why I stopped here. Because it means I only have to uh, stop to unload once. That's why we had the cab saver on it. Alright, so we are just gonna hit the reset. Hit go into dry mode because we have to pull forward to get this next bundle off of here. And do it one more time. I hate the fact that it automatically just kicks into the freaking what is it like camera mode or something like that? I don't know. It's not a mode I'm fond of, <laughs> but I know it's one that's kind of necessary. If it makes sense. I kind of wish it was reversed in terms of how they have the default. Ooh, 
That's because I tried to get out a little earlier while too early while the uh, everything was kind of getting back into the truck. All right, so we come over here, unpack the construction materials, and it lays the pipe. Thankfully, I don't have to do that myself. And one more. Which puts us at a 33% completion. Now we have to uh, clear the construction site. coming out here. Alright, so while we were finishing up with the sand, we had this soil compactor show up. And we need to get on the sand and get it compacted down. Honestly, uh, so there's something a little satisfying about driving this thing. It's not so much as far as the look it gives, but the vibrational tones it gives. For me, I guess it's just kind of relaxing. That's kind of why I like this game. It's, to be honest, it's a time killer. I don't want to say time waster because I don't feel like I'm wasting time playing this game. I mean, it is a game, so some people would say, oh, you're wasting time playing them video games and blah, 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 but if I'm making content for you guys, I can't say I'm completely wasted, plus if I'm having fun doing it, and it's, you know, and I'm relaxed at the same time while doing it, it's a win-win-win-win-win-win-win for everybody! 
Yes, that was a lot of wins because I think it is a win, 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 win for everybody. That little bit got us at 60%. Let's see what one lap gets us. Well, if we can stay within the track lines. Well, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. With this being our, an articulated type of equipment, it's it's a little fun to try to drive. I don't know. I guess I would try to do it in real life. I guess the one that I do prefer over this is the Asphalt Combat. That one, um, I think because it has both wheels that are vibrating and doing the comp compacting, I think it just gives me that much more audio in terms of sound that I like to hear. Just the vibrations and whatnot. Yeah, I know, call me weird. It is what it is. I'm a weird guy. So that got us up to 38%. Granted, we're not even close to being done with the full lap. Well, we will be up here shortly, but... Is it just me, or is my machine trying to twerk? I'm hoping it's just me, but I don't think it is. Alright, so while we were doing the compacting, uh, one of my crew workers went out and got the rest of the materials that we need, or at least I think it's the rest of them. So let's get them unloaded. And see what we need to do from there. Because we are sitting at 45% completion at the moment. So we need to place steel pillars. However, I want to get this stuff unpacked first as it gets getting to be nighttime again. The sun's going down the hills there. It's like shot put area. A spot for a crane. Let's 
All right, so we got our mobile crane here. Okay, so I guess we just need to set those two pillars for the moment. Let's get this unpacked. This thing is a beast of a crane, by the way. Ooh, let there be light. So I gotta get these two pieces of equipment out of here. Oh, and they did the other two. So, yeah, we don't need this anymore. I didn't have all the lights on. I just realized that there were still work lights that I could have and probably should have turned on. So that, getting those lights up puts us at 66% completion. We just have to speak to this foreman. Are we actually complete? Or is there more to it that I'm missing? That is the foreman. That is the foreman. Since we are still technically on the site, we have to wear the hard hat. But since we're not doing any work. There we go! Man, that grass grew quick. Alright. I'll take it. Alright, guys. That's gonna do it for this. For us here in this episode. So as always, if you happen to like what you see, or if you catch yourself watching more than one of my videos, do us both a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That bell will let you be notified of every single video I post and not just select few here and there. And she's off to the races. Guys, for those of you who are already subscribed, I thank you and I greatly appreciate it. So while I make a quick hot lap around this track, until next time, take care. Peace. Man, she's already out of breath. She's not fit for this. Back to construction.